guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the intercepts of a rational function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here, guys, the definition of intercepts. The intercepts of the graph of a rational function are the points of intersection of its graph and an axis. So when you talk about linear function and quadratic function, you already... Uh, encounter the word intercepts. Pero syempre, let me refresh you para magamit natin siya mamaya para makuha natin yung way kung paano mag-solve ng intercepts of a rational function. So we have here the um, y-axis as your vertical number line and this is your x-axis. Now as you can see guys, I have here the graph of a random rational function wherein Nasa nga ba dito yung tinatawag natin x-intercept and y-intercepts? Yung ating x-intercept is definitely uh, the intersection or the point of intersection between the x-axis and the graph of the rational function. And this one is their point of intersection. Therefore, this is your x-intercept. And as for the x-intercept, ang kanyang coordinates ay a, 0. Ibig sabihin nito, your, your y is equal to 0. And now, as for the y-intercept, given your y-axis, and this is the graph of the rational function, as you can see, we have here a point of intersection wherein, ito naman yung tinatawag natin, y inter Set, wherein yung point, yung graph, yung coordinates ng ating y intercept ay 0, comma, b, wherein your x is equal to 0. So ngayon, yung pinakonsepto kasi na itong mismo one natin, mismo video natin, is to give you the way or the knowledge on how to solve or find the x, in, x and y intercepts of a rational function. So let's have here the examples. So we have the, the direction, find the x and y intercepts of the following. These are examples of rational function. Now let's start with item number one. For number one, we have f of x is equal to 3 minus x over x plus 1. Now, let us find first the x intercept. Now remember guys, when you're solving for the x-intercept, remember that your y is equal to 0 because ito yung ating coordinates. Your y here is equal to 0. And to solve for um, the x-intercept, we need to replace this by y. Gawin natin itong y f of x natin. So y is equal to 3 minus x over x plus y. Or in sabi na natin kanina, your x is equal to 0, so therefore we can replace y as 0. So it will become 0 is equal to 3 minus x over x plus 1. And then you will cross multiply. Cross multiply natin, ito meron tayo itong visible 1, so cross multiply. When you multiply 3 minus x times 1, it will become 3 minus x. And when you multiply 0 by x plus y, that is equal to 0. Okay guys? Now, to solve for x, instead of transposing 3 to the other side, I will just transpose negative x to the other side. So, we have now 3 is equal to x or your x is equal to 0. Ang ibig sabihin nito guys, is that yung ating x-intercept is equal to 3. At the final coordinates, the x-intercept is 3,0. Ito na yung mismo sabot natin dito. Okay? Ito na yung mismo sabot natin dito. Now, Yes sir, how about the y-intercept? As for the y-intercept, so y-intercept naman tayo guys, y 
intercept. Now, your x is equal to 0. Again, given this function, again, given this function, we will replace f of x by y. So you have your y is equal to 3 minus x over x plus 1. And your x is equal to 0, meaning these two x's here should be replaced by 0. It will become y is equal to 3 minus 0, okay, over over 0 plus 1. And now guys, ang gabi naman natin dito guys is simplify this. You will have y is equal to 3 over 1 or equal to 3. At yung mismong sagot natin for the y-intercept. Ngayon, lagyan natin dito. The y-intercept is 0, 3. Ito yung ating x and y-intercept or item number 1. I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung method natin. Eh. For, first, for the x-intercept, um, you will assign y be equal to 0 and then change the f of x by y and then replace the y variable by 0 and then solve for x. Ito din yung x-intercept natin. And as for the y-intercept, you will assign x be equal to 0 and then syempre, um, you will solve for y and then there you have it. The y-intercept is equal to 0, 3. Now let's move on with the second example. The second example time. For the second example, we have f of x is equal to 2x over x plus 2. So, for the x-intercept, your y is equal to 0. It will become, ito na tayo ah, y is equal to 2x over x plus 2. Ito gagawin natin 0. 0 is equal to 2x over x plus 2. Now, we will cross multiply. Meron tayo itong invisible 1. Cross multiply and cross multiply. 2x times 1 is 2x. Okay? Now, as for 0 times x plus 2, it will become equal to 0. And then solve for x, simply divide it by 2, and then divide it by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 0. Ngayon, ano nga yung x-intercept natin dito, guys? The x-intercept is 0, 0. Ito yung coordinates ng ating x-intercept. Now, how about the y-intercept? Same thing, guys. Uh, we will replace this by y. We have y is equal to 2x over x plus 2. At lahat ng x dito ay papalitan natin ng ay papalitan natin ng 0. So your y is equal to 2 times 0 over your x natin is 0 plus 2. Simplifying this one, it will give us um, 2 times 0 is 0 over 0 plus 2 is 2. Your y now is 0 divided by 2. Any number with a denominator of 0, except 0, is equal to 0. Ito ngayon yung ating y-intercept. So the coordinates of our y-intercept, the y-intercept is 0, 0. Ito din yung sagot natin for... Um, the intercepts of this function. So let me give you um, an activity wherein this item number 3 will be your activity after this video. And I hope, guys, na masagutan nyo ito and you can put your answers sa ating comment section. So let me erase this one first.
Now, for item number three, guys, wait, wait for a while. For item number three, let me give you this example. G of x is equal to x minus 2 over x plus 6. So, yun guys. I hope na masagutan nyo ito. Ito ang example na the number 3, extra activity, para makita natin kung natutunan nyo ba yung process or yung way on how to find the x and y intercept of a given rational function. So, again guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!